Formula One used to be full of privateer teams owned and run by individuals with a passion for racing. But as budgets have risen, so big corporations have moved into the sport. Now, as the sun sets on the 2005 season, all of the teams have gathered to say goodbye to three great racing names. Minardi stepped up to Formula One in 1985. Devotion has always coursed through the veins of the team and those who run it. Few teams can boast to have launched the careers of so many stars, and though they may not have earned many trophies, Formula One's favourite minnows have earned themselves enormous respect. Under Mr Minardi's reign, and also under Paul's reign, Minardi is a team with uh, massive uh, spirit and passion. They are, uh, of course, generally always turned up and know the result before they even start. I lived there in Italy for one year, so you know I hope they can keep in Formula One in the in the new team because the, the strongest point of the Minardi is always the, the people inside. You can ask uh, to all the drivers who drove for them uh, how good is the atmosphere over there. And uh, they are really professional. Peter Sauber has been a racing man all his life. His team stepped up to Formula One in 1993. Always a midfield stalwart, Sauber has provided a safe haven for veteran drivers and a launching pad for young pretenders. BMW takes over the reins from 2006. Well, I guess uh, private teams remain uh, slightly more human, uh, less uh, corporate and uh, less robotic, uh, basically. If I have to go back and have to start again, I will do the same, exactly. Jordan has been rocking and rolling in Formula One since 1991, but the party spirit didn't stop them achieving four victories. The maiden win in 1998 was cause for celebration. A controversial triumph in 2003 was Jordan's last success before the sale to the Russian Midland Group spelt the end for the charismatic outfit. Jordan came in always known as the underdogs, but um, we were a team that had a lot of very passionate people working for them. We used to fight very hard for um, the points that we scored. Doing it from where he started, from being a, a racing driver, moving all the way through to being a very successful businessman in Formula One was very, very impressive. It was a shame somehow to see that he was leaving Formula One because I think he belongs to Formula One, but, you know, maybe it was the right decision to take a bit more care of him his family. Your man is your man. He will always be, I made you. Try to make you once, didn't he, Eddie Jordan? He did indeed, along with other, a lot of young drivers. When you came through the career ladder, if you got to Eddie Jordan, you knew you were on your way. But it's a great shame to see him go and all those other small teams. It's a big loss to Formula One. I agree with you, uh, Mark. Okay.